What's going on guys, Shrimp Dubs back with another video. So, you know, I didn't upload yesterday. It's all good though, I got a banger today. We got my thoughts about the NBA Draft Lottery. Now I'm going to be mentioning 1 through 14 picks and saying my thoughts about them and how I think they're going to turn out. So, with the first pick... In the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves selected Anthony Edwards from Georgia. So I think he's an amazing player. His, they said that his ceiling is Dwayne Wade, which is obviously intriguing. He doesn't have a knockdown jump shot quite yet, but if he can get that, he's going to be a beast. There's not that much to it. He's a great player, did great for Georgia. And yeah, moving on. So with the second pick, the Golden State Warriors selected James Wiseman from the University of Memphis. I think this was a no-brainer. They really need a big man, and it's a great pick. They didn't mess up, which is good. And he showed a lot of potential in his three games with Memphis. Yes, you heard me right. Three games was enough to get him the second overall pick in the draft, and may have been the first if another team had been picking first, but the Timberwolves have Carl Anthony Towns, so they obviously didn't need him. But James Wiseman is seven foot one, I believe, with a great jump shot, and is going to be a promising player in the future. And my comparison for him would honestly be Carl Anthony Towns. Current day, that is. So with the third pick, the Charlotte Hornets selected LaMelo Ball from China. No. Where did he play? I'm so stupid. Whatever. Um, He played for the Illawarra Hawks. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. I'm really stupid. But um, he did great wherever he played. And... Obviously, he's got a lot of hype around his name because of his big brother, Lonzo, who is starting to pan out a bit, so we'll see how LaMelo does. Lonzo struggled to live up to the hype, but he was in Los Angeles, so I don't really blame him. But um, in Charlotte, things might be different for LaMelo Ball, and I think he's going to be a great player. He's got a great jump shot. He's a good passer. He's fast. Yeah. So, the Bulls rolled the dice with the number four pick, and instead of selecting a guy like Obi Toppin or Denny Avdija, they selected Patrick Williams from Florida State. Now, if you look at Patrick Williams' numbers, they're not great. He averaged 9.2 points per game, four rebounds, one assist, and didn't start a single game for Florida State. Yet, he was still a lottery pick, no doubt. Now, I think a lot of people are surprised that about him going number four, but apparently, I don't know a lot about him personally, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but um, he's apparently an athletic freak. He's 6'8", and a long-term project, super athletic. So we'll see, this is what happened with Giannis, so yeah. So with the fifth pick, the Cleveland Cavaliers selected Isaac Okoro from the University of Auburn. Now personally, I like this pick. Isaac Okoro is a great defender, something the Cavs need a lot. Well, perimeter defense, they need a lot. And, um... He really fits that, and they need a small forward, and he fits that too. So, he is a freaky defender. Still a great player on the offensive end, but wouldn't have received this much hype without his defense. So, he led Auburn to a good season. I believe they were second, going to be a two seed in March Madness before it um before it went out and they stopped playing which was unfortunate for all of these guys 
since playing in the March Madness tournament is the number one way to get fans. But, yeah, you know, it's it's unfortunate for these guys that they didn't get to play. Well, a lot of these guys that are freshmen. But Isaac Okoro is great. And my comparison is OG and an OB. So, with the sixth pick in the NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks selected my guy, my man, I'm Yeka Okongwu from USC. Fight on, Trojans. As if you didn't know, I'm a USC fan. I think you could tell that by the way I reacted to that. But on Yeka is a guy that, he's a great rim protector. He's a fierce finisher. He can do a little bit of everything. I believe he can stretch the floor a little bit. Not a lot, but he can shoot the ball if they need him to. And he's a great player. He's going to fit perfectly. Same kind of play style as John Collins. So we'll see how that goes. He's a good guy to have around Trey Young. Not sure what they're going to do with Clint Capella. Now with the seventh pick, the Detroit Pistons selected Killian Hayes from France. Now Killian Hayes... He's a good playmaker, he's a good scorer, a near 40% three-point shooter, and I, I don't see any downside to this man. He He's a great player overall, hopefully he'll live up to the hype, Detroit isn't a, an amazing team, so it shouldn't be too much pressure on him, but yeah, um... For seven picks, they were missing a couple guys that I thought would be on them, but, you know, this next guy was my prediction to go either third or fourth, so here we go. Hey, I'm excited about this one. Obi Toppin's heading to his hometown, New York. So, he was named for the John Wooden Award, which is the best college basketball player in the nation, led Dayton to their best season ever, and um, I think he's an amazing player. He's a high flyer. He's a good rebounder. He's pretty fast for a big man. And yeah, he's going to fit in good with the Knicks. Especially, there's not really anyone good on the Knicks, so there's a lot of room for him to develop, be the star of the team in his first year. And I hope he pans out. He's a great player all around. Now with the ninth pick in the NBA draft, the Washington Wizards selected Denny Avdiha, a player that I like a lot. Now coming out of Israel, he is a good playmaker standing at six foot nine can be kind of a point forward and he's great for the wizards they need a small forward i guess they could have played really at small forward but avoiding that taking denny avdiha with the number nine pick and i like this pick a lot and if I were to have to compare him to an NBA player, I'd probably say a guy like Will Barton or something like that. Just kind of a good playmaking forward. So, yeah, moving on. So with the 10th pick, the Phoenix Suns really rolled the dice. And they took Jalen Smith from the University of Maryland. So I like Jalen Smith, but... I hate to say it, but he should not have been picked this high. He, I think he should have been maybe a late first round pick. He's a great player and all, but he doesn't. He's not as good as some of the guys coming up. But he's a good big man. He can stretch the floor a little bit. He can finish inside. He's a good defender. Not amazing at any of that stuff, but he'll be a decent player. But don't know if I really like that pick by the Phoenix Suns. So with the 11th pick, the San Antonio Spurs selected Devin Vassell from Florida State. So 
Devin Vassell is, has shown great promise. He's the second Seminole to be drafted. Patrick Williams, which is the drafted number four. But he was great for Florida State. He He's a great 3 and D two guard that has shown great promise. And I think he's going to be a great player. If I had to compare him, I'd say a, a guy like Gary Harris. So, yeah, I think he's got a lot of upside. He'll fit in good with the Spurs and get coached by Pop. So, with the 12th pick, the Sacramento Kings selected Tyrese Halliburton from Iowa State. And personally, I really like Tyrese Halliburton. He's an amazing playmaker ball handling, passing, he's got all of it. He is 6'5 as a point guard, which automatically gives him an advantage. And he can shoot the ball. So I think he's going to be a great player. He's going to be the backup point guard for the Sacramento Kings right now. But I really like this pick. I honestly don't know who to compare him to, but... Um, there's not really many guys like him in the NBA, so we'll see how it works out. But I'm so with the 13th pick, the New Orleans Pelicans selected Kira Lewis Jr. from Alabama. So I don't know a ton about Kira Lewis, but he's a great player. He's gonna be the Pelicans' backup point guard that they need desperately and yeah he averaged 18.5 points per game and five assists for Alabama on 36 percent from three so pretty good and I think he's got a lot of upside he'll play alongside Zion and Brandon Ingram get his minutes in and yeah so with the last pick of the lottery, the Boston Celtics made a great pick, in my opinion, and took Aaron Neesmith from Vanderbilt. Neesmith is an amazing spot-up shooter. He's not much else besides that, but he shot 40% from three. I know that. And he's going to be great for the Celtics. He's going to get his minutes in. Play alongside Kemba, Jason Tatum. They can penetrate, and they have him if they need someone to hit a jump shot. And I think that's a great pick for the Celtics. Celtics are going to be a scary team in a couple years once Jason Tatum develops into his full potential. But, yeah. So... Thank you guys for watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you won't miss it when I upload. Thank you for watching, I'll try to get another video up tomorrow. Peace!